Hi, this is CBRadioMagazine.com, and I'm super excited today because I get to show you guys one of the coolest modifications that's come out for CB Radio in years, and it's a game changer. It is a modification that allows you to add a bunch of different features to your older CB radios like your Cobra 138 XLR, your Cobra 148s, your Cobra 2000s, your Unit and Grants, your 23-channel radios, AM radios, single sideband radios. It doesn't really matter. It works in all of them and it adds a bunch of different features. Now what does it add? Well the main thing that I would say right away is that with an old radio like this if you wanted extra frequencies you had to wire them into a three-way switch or a lot of people use like a switch up here and then you'd get your extra frequencies but it'd be a pain in the ass and you had to keep track of where you were and change your you know your channel and then your switch and then try and get it to line up. So as we all know anybody who's done that it, it works but it's not ideal. This modification is going to give you seamless tuning through a bunch of different frequencies, way more than you could ever get with the little three-wire position. It's going to give you a Roger Beeps. It's going to give you scanning. It's, it just does so much. So let's just, I've got to show you guys so you understand what we're talking about. This is the DDS VFO, and it is currently being sold out of Troy's Radio Service in Texas. They're the ones that are the U.S. distributor for this. Uh, there's a guy in Brazil who came up with this thing. It uses a board, it uses a display, and then it uses a channel changing module. And those things together make this thing work. So let's turn it on and I'll give you a quick glimpse of what this is going to look like and then we'll zoom in. And as you can see, the radio looks pretty normal. You wouldn't know that there was anything modified on this. But of course, if you look over here, you can tell right away we've got our digital display in here. So let me zoom in and I'm going to start showing you all the cool stuff this thing can do. All right, I've zoomed in. I'm probably going to have to break this up into a couple different videos to show everything. But I'm going to give you the basics in this one just to get you started and uh, get your mouth watering for this cool modification. First of all, this is your display. It's going to have a slight flicker in the video. Just has to do with the refresh rate in the video camera. In real life, when you're looking at this with your eyes, you're going to see no flicker at all. It's solid. It's vibrant. Looks really easy to read. And this display currently shows us we're in VFO mode. We're in lower sideband. It gives us our frequency. And it actually has a little adjustable tag you can put here with your nickname or whatever you want. And it's got an indicator here in the corner. So the first thing I'll show you is this indicator. It's currently in receive mode. If I key up, it'll show a transmit mode. And you saw a little note show up there as well. That means the Roger Beep is turned on. That's what that little musical note showing up there means. Um, it currently tells us which mode we're in. This actually will change when I change the mode switch. So if I change it to upper sideband, you'll see it shows that. I change it to AM, it shows you AM. So, you know, previously with this radio, you had your channel display here, it just showed your channel. It didn't tell you, you know, which mode you're on. You had to look at the switch, of course, but now this does have an indicator there that shows you. So that's really cool. So, the frequency, this is the part I'm sure you're very interested in. This is going to give you the ability to tune like a VFO. So right now I'm changing the frequency and you're going to like, oh, well, that's just kind of normal. Well, you can change it this way, but you can also tune in different steps. And what I mean by that is if I press this once, it jumps up to the next step. And now I can tune here and I can actually go up to the maximum, which I have this set right now to 27855. You can go all the way down to 26505. And as you can see, that gives us frequencies in the CB band and into the free band. Now, when you go up into the free band, you can go up to whatever channel you like, you know, and look at this, you can just tune it. It just tunes like a VFO, it goes in between frequencies, goes everywhere you want it, all the way up to 25555 if you want to be out there on the international calling frequency. And you can tune in even smaller steps. Look at that. So it gives you this ability to go through all these frequencies. Now, some of you guys are going, well, you can go up to, what did you say, 27855. Well, can you go higher than that? Can you go lower than, you know, down the 26s? And the answer is yes. <clears throat> you can set this up 
to pretty much go wherever you want within the limits of what the radio can do. So you can actually have this go up into 10 meter and you can have it do 10 meters and CB but it just depends how you want to set your radio up and then of course at the very extremes you're going to see power dropping off depending on how the radio is tuned so this gives you all of your free bound frequencies in a vfo mode you can do it seamlessly in tune wherever you want it takes an old radio like a 138 lets us go up to 27555 super easy and we can see it all here we don't have to use a road map and switches and we can tune it we can quickly drop back down now let me show you what else this can do. If you want to go into channel mode, say you don't want it in a VFO, and you want it to do it more like an old CB mode. Well, you hold this in and go into the menu, and then you can go into channel mode. And when I go into channel mode, it's gonna show frequency up top and then your channel display here. And I can just change channels like I normally would. And of course, I'm going up into the free band because this is set up to go all the way up to 27,805 or so up here. But then if I keep going, it goes back down into our 26 megahertz range and then all the way back up into our 40 channel CB channels. So isn't that cool? And then when you switch the mode here, it will show you for a second that you're switching the mode. When I key up, it's not going to show anything here on this one, but you will see the TX light still does work the way this is set up. Um, the other cool thing when you're in this mode is that your voice lock, your clarifier still works. So if I move my clarifier, you'll see that it's tuning and it's actually showing you the frequency as I move my clarifier, something that you never would have had previously unless you had an external frequency counter wired in or something. So you can adjust your clarifier, it still functions in the channel mode. So right off frequencies, this is really cool. You can get in there and do all that. Now I'm gonna show you guys what else is inside this menu. I showed you channel mode, I showed you the VFO mode. There's also a radio receiver mode. Now what's a radio receiver mode? Well, if you add an optional board, you can actually receive ham radio frequencies on your CB radio. And you can go all the way down as low as, there we go, you see 500 here, or you can go all the way up, I'll have to tune to a better step here, and you can go up to 14 megahertz. So you can tune all the way through the HF ham radio frequencies. You can go down to your local AM uh, radio frequencies and listen to those, listen to your local AM radio station on your CB, which is pretty cool. So that is your HF receiver mode, and that's an optional board, like I said, but you can have that installed as well. Now we have our settings menu, and if we go into our settings menu, we have 30 menu options in here. So there's a ton more stuff in here. I'm just gonna show you the first two in this video, and then we can get into some other features as well on the other ones. First thing is you can change your username, and as you can see, I did CB Radio Mag. And if you long press, you go into here, you can adjust it. And hopefully you guys can see the little character changing there. So you can set this to whatever you want. You can set it to letters. You can set it to numbers. They have a couple little symbols in here that it can do. So you can set this. Go back to CB Radio Mag. And there we go. You, if you go to the next one, next option on the configuration menu, there's a Roger Beep. Now, some of you guys love Roger Beeps. Some of you hate them. But uh, in this mode, we can adjust our Roger Beep all the way to zero, which is no Roger Beep, all the way up to 20. So there's 20 Roger Beeps in here. There's something for everybody. There's little ones, short ones, nice little beeps. There's annoying longer beeps. So <laughs> for whatever you like for Roger Beep, there's something in here that probably will appeal to you. There's also a random function. So you can set it up. It'll do a different one every single time you unkey. So you can set that where you like it. And then uh, I'll go through these and just actually play a little recording of each one. But uh, then there's a bunch of other um, menu options. You can unify your clarifier. You can have it uh, offsets. You can do a bunch of different stuff in here. Um, and then there's some of it's just adjustments for setting up the radio uh, when you initially tune it. So that's in the configuration menu. You have to do something special to get in there. So really we're just showing you the first two things today. So if you long press this again, it'll take us back to our our main menu and uh, can go back to our channel mode. Now the next thing I want to show you is the scanning function on this. 
So scanning mode. This radio has two different ways of doing this in your channel uh, mode. I guess I'm seeing a lot of modes here, but in our channel mode rather than our VFO mode, we can either scan through all the frequencies or we can scan through a, just a group of channels that you select. So we've got this one set up right now. If we flip this into the CB function, the switch here with the CBPA is now controlling this. It takes us into our scanning group. I've chosen three channels, channel six, channel 19, channel 28. It'll scan through those channels. And if somebody breaks my squelch, I'm just simulating it here, it will stop and you will hear that frequency. And then uh, it will continue on again once the signal stops breaking the squelch. So, we've added scanning and scanning groups to a radio that never had scanning before, which is really cool to be able to do um, on this old classic. If we hold this down for a little while while we're in this channel mode, it takes us into that menu. So, like I said, we can scan through all the channels. It'll go through and just scan all the frequencies. Let me go back in. We can do uh, scan the channel group. We can add channels to the group. We can set a priority channel, and then we can also, of course, exit the menu. So that is your scanning frequency ability within your channel mode. Now you can also scan in the VFO mode. So if we go into VFO and go here, center squelch, and there's a couple different ways it can scan. I'm actually gonna go into this in more detail in the other video, but as you can see, it's scanning through all of the frequencies. It does it by the last tuning step that you use, so you can set a different tuning step and it'll tune through, uh, scan through that way. So as you can see, it's showing us uh, on a display here, spikes in frequencies. And so there's two different methods of this and they both work a little differently. And so again, I've got a lot more to show you, but I just wanted to give you guys an initial look at a very, very cool uh, device. And I'll just finish this off. I'll include the Roger beep sounds to, to hear the end of this. And I'll actually show uh, the unit in Grant just receiving on the HF frequencies, uh, just to give you a little ex example of how that part works. So the DDS VFO from Troy's Radio Service, you can buy the kit, you can have them install it, you can install it yourself. It uh, just takes some soldering skill. It replaces the PLL section of your radio. So it is, you know, taking out some parts and changing the way your radio works a little bit, but you get super good sideband stability. So if you've ever had a radio that you had problems with stability on sideband, this should solve that issue. Um, you get all these different features. It turns a radio like this into a cool digital new radio in some ways without really changing the way that the radio works. So we still love the receive and the, the audio transmit on these Cobra 138s and this modification just makes everything better. So let me finish off. I'll let you see a couple of these uh, Roger beeps and a little bit of the receiving on the HF receiver function and then we'll do another video where we'll go in and, and kind of get into all the nitty gritty in the menu. Picking up a bit of a net here, but uh, signal isn't very strong. Just trying to show that we're receiving. We're actually receiving on the CB antenna. So uh, if we hooked up the long wire antenna, probably get it pretty good. But uh, just for now, I was showing you guys uh, this example.